What do you think is the moment where somebody really kind of makes this his tunnel to go through? One thing that characterizes all the people that I know who are artists is that they're very determined to have certain feelings and they will do anything to get those feelings again. They're sort of addicts to a certain kind of feeling. So I went to art school because art school, three years at art school was better than having a job. And it wasn't so much because I wanted to become an artist, it was because I didn't want to become an ordinary person doing a, the kind of job my father did, you know, where he would come home at night so tired that he would fall asleep over his dinner. The only really anxious period I had was when I was poised between being a fine artist and being a musician. And I had a lot of hope invested in me by my teachers that I would become a fine artist. The other anxiety I felt, I suppose, is the one that I feel I felt pretty much continuously since I was 17 years old, which is, why am I doing this? And what difference does it make to the world? This is a very interesting question for an artist to ask themselves. What difference does this make? And uh, I've been thinking about that for 50 years or so. And what's your, in the moment, thinking of that? Human beings have a repertoire of behaviors that they can employ to deal with situations. One is the behavior of control. That's at one extreme end. And when we do science, for example, when we make technology, we're exercising control. We're taking a part of the world and applying intelligence to it and learning how to control it. We save our praise mostly for the controllers rather than the surrenderers. But I want to redignify surrender as an active verb. I want to say surrender is a choice that we can make. Do you see a difference for this young generation, how they move into uh, music? Do you think for them it's easier or more difficult? or what do, you, what do you think, where do they stand at this time? I think there's a lot of digestion going on and, and it's a good time to be digesting because everything is so easy to find. Everything's available and uh, on your iPod you can have you know, Johnny Cash right next to Shostakovich, right next to uh, a gospel song, right next to Beyonce, whatever. So you, you can listen to, a, to such a menu of things so easily that this turns all musicians into kind of collage artists. What they're doing a lot of the time is selecting possibilities and shuffling them and dealing new hands of cards. There was a time, for instance, let's say in the 40s and 50s, when film was really the center of the cultural conversation. That was what people referred to, that was where sort of innovations were being made. What would you picture as the center of, of that in today's time? I'm, I'm not sure that I know what the center is. There might not be a center, there isn't always. Is it the internet? Well, It looks that way, but except that that isn't a conversation, really. It's a lot of anonymous people being rude to each other. <laughs> And that, that isn't a conversation. Um, for, for there to be a conversation, enough people in the conversation have to share some common cultural experiences. There's no use of us talking about literature together if you've never read Tolstoy and I've never read, you know, Dickens, or if, if we don't share any common experiences to talk through, then we don't have a conversation, really. I think people imagine that if you sit there and prepare yourself carefully, inspiration will jump on you. But in my experience, that doesn't happen. In fact, I heard a very good I wonder if I can remember this. I heard a very good phrase about this recently. Um, inspiration only catches you when you're working. You have to be actually in motion and doing something. And then you'll, you'll notice something. So a lot of people think, 
oh, I've, I'll just wait. Just waiting doesn't work. Um, what brings you joy? I, I do feel immense joy when I finish something for about th at least 30 minutes. I feel wonderful. Then I get back to worrying again <laughs> about the next thing. <laughs>